All right, now we got a Corvette here. Get ready to do a, a paint job on him. Complete paint job. No mechanical, just paint. I'll show you all the whole process here. Somebody had put it and replaced a uh, fender, right side fender on this. You can see where it was joined in there. Uh, we strip it all the way down to the fiberglass. It had so much Bondo on this and it went straight over the fiberglass and it it didn't hold so it all chipped off and it's not how you do it. we'll show you the proper way to do this with the right epoxies and primers and paints and all the chemicals we use this is what it looked like I hand file everything straight so with all that material on there, I am able to file this mug straight where it's supposed to be. But it's pretty thick. Yeah, this is what happens when you don't do it right. But this fight been on here for 20 years, what it looks like. So, I guess 20 years. My paint job won't look like that in 20 years, but... Old stingray. I'm putting a canvas top on it. I am going to paint and primer the roof. Then we're going to have that done. Slow process. Getting all this paint off here. And keeping it all straight and smooth. You see where this quarter on the right side was replaced. We did a pretty decent job under everything, but just too much bond there. I'm going to show you here what we're doing. This is hand strip with stripper. Paint stripper. It softens it up. I can scrape it off and it's less sanding. I won't dig into the fiberglass. It's a ton of work. It'll probably be two to three days on just this hood. Because when it's all said and done, this thing's got to be straight. That's the main goal is keeping your, your work straight. Let's see, I'm going to show you all here what we're doing. This is what I use. Put this on pretty heavy. Because thin coats just don't cut as fast. And you only take them one layer at a time, so with eight coats of paint, you can imagine this takes a little bit of time. I've been working on this all day. But when I'm done. It's less sanding I got to do, less body work I got to do because I'm not hurting anything. Four fifty four. That's what's in this thing. The badge goes right here. Four fifty four.
people that make that paint remover took uh, what you call the methylene chloride out of this stripper and now it don't it don't lift the paint like it used to it don't burn your hands it stuff will burn you but this here our paint supplier guy told us that they were making drugs out of this chemical can you believe that Ain't no doubt in my mind. And now I gotta work twice as hard because people are sniffing this crap. And there we have it. That's what you do, that's what you do. Wait a little bit, scrape a little bit. Regular old scrape. Looks like it. Looks like blood. It only takes about a couple minutes. Yeah. So it's about done. I got most of it off there. And I'm most ready to start sanding on it. It burns the eyes a little bit. Six now, I guess I should be wearing a respirator. Well, this job's gonna kill me one day, so it really don't even matter. Think positive. Try to keep everything clean as possible. I don't like getting it on the floor, not stepping in it, tracking it all over the shop. I'll blow all this off when I'm done. Sometimes I'll sweep the floor just so I don't have enough none of this crap in my machine. let this stuff be a mess it uh, it'll be a mess
work. Anything else, take your time. A clean paint job is a happy paint job. And a happy customer. So care what care about what you're doing. Care about what you have. Take care of everything. Take care of people. Gotta get in the work. back from Florida for two weeks hurricane came through there first time I've ever been in a hurricane it was just a regular rainstorm for those people it was pretty neat I knew I had this sitting here when I came back I was looking forward to coming home it's cold though here. I was talking to my brother. We're going to try to do some more videos. Start see if we can. We do a lot of cool stuff, man. There's since why we shouldn't be videoing this stuff. If you want to do it at home, you can watch these videos and. We're going to show you the right way to do things, easiest and the fastest. I've been doing this a long time, so I know every shortcut is known to man. So does my brother. He's a very good painter. We're all third generation in our family of all everybody. Our dad taught us everything. stuff is tough. And do it again. That's all you're going to do. Keep doing it until you 
Don't want to do it no more. So there you have it. That's all it is. You know, like I said, next I'll just start sanding. I'll make another video on when I start sanding. And probably be tomorrow. I'll try to video, put up more videos. Now, at least a couple, three videos a week, probably. See how fast we can build this channel. I know our local people will help. They've been around here for a while. Yeah, it's pretty cool just to watch the process of what it takes to paint a car. It's a lot of work. And it's beautiful when it's done. And that's why we love it. Get burnt out though. I have definitely gotten burnt out, but now I got my motivation back. boring video once somebody scrape paint off ain't it I'd imagine Scrapes, scratches because of my blade. You gotta have a dull blade, but it will dig in. All that will get sanded out. I'll show you. I'll file this thing with a file or with a hand file. I'll use 80 grit. This is 40. So to keep it all. And I'll take that. It's, it's got two more coats that's gotta come off.
main thing is get the heavy is the heavy part of it all. But I've done hundreds of cars like this. See y'all next time. Thanks for watching.